Brian Koberger set to appear back in court today. When and where his trial will ultimately take place, still up in the air. The judge thus far hesitant to set a trial date, but that could all change today. While Koberger's defense team argues he can't get a fair trial unless it's moved out of town. It was here in this close-knit community that four University of Idaho students, Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonsalves, Zana Carnodal, and Ethan Chapin, were found stabbed to death at home in November of 2022. Facing four counts of first-degree murder, a judge entered a plea of not guilty on Koberger's behalf. Defense motions to get the charges thrown out, consuming the better part of the last year, all swinging in the prosecution's favor. But the judge has held off on setting a date for trial. My heart goes out to the victims. I, I can't even imagine the, the pain, the grief, um, because you can't really go forward with your life is hanging over your head. Prosecutors had asked for it to begin this summer when schools are out, but the defense said that was too soon. Your Honor, summer of 2024, it's impossible for us to do it. Meanwhile, Koberger's defense lawyers filing a motion earlier this month to move the case out of Moscow, citing the extensive inflammatory pretrial publicity. Prosecutors calling that premature. This case has national, if not international, attention. It's not Moscow. It's not Lataw County. It's everywhere. I don't think that a change of venue is going to solve any of these problems. On the eve of last month's hearing, the Gonzalez family told NBC News that pushing the trial another year would be agonizing. My life is put on hold. My life is, um, you know, I in limbo. It's torment. It tears me up. I can't sleep at night. And I just can't imagine going that much longer. So a lot of families are really mm -hmm. anxious to mm -hmm. see this get underway. So talk about the change of venue hearing. Uh, the defense wants to move it somewhere else in the state. Yeah, they say they can't get a fair trial in the state because it's, the county is really 40,000 people. And they say everyone knows somebody who's connected to this. The prosecutor is obviously pushing back on that. We'll see where it goes. But we should point out here, even if the venue were to change, say it moves to Boise, it wouldn't actually slow down the trial. Even the judge wouldn't tr change. The only thing that changes is the pool of jurors that you could pick from. Mm -hmm. Well, what, what about the genetic evidence? I, I understand yeah. there could be some arguments over that today, Laura. What more can you tell us? So about? his attorneys have wanted to find out a little bit more about how exactly they zeroed in on this guy. They want to figure out, you know, what were the methodologies that were used? And they used some new technology here, actually building a family tree based off of publicly available genetic data. You submit things, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, oh. to different websites. The, the investigators are using some sites, not like 23Me, more other ones that are less well-known, but still, it's some new technology. And so the defense wants to know more about him how they zeroed in on him. The family members are anxious for this trial to get going. Yeah. Will that have any influence on when this trial starts, according to the judge? You can understand where they're coming from, obviously, yeah. but it's also a death penalty case. And so in the grand scheme of things, this is actually not unusual to see it drag out this long. The judge, you saw him sort of recognize yeah. the human impact of it, but it's not really supposed to weigh in on his decision. It's really Koberger's yeah. rights that are being considered here for the purposes of that trial date. Okay, All right. cool. All right, Laura, thank you, Laura. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.